Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we have something a little different. We're going to be working with my pick and place machine. First of all, I'm sorry if the noise is a little hard to hear me, but it's a very enclosed room. There's ventilation systems going on and whatnot, so it's a little loud. But the first thing we need to do is use our stencil machine. So this here is a close-up of the laser cut screen. You can kind of see all the little holes and little cuts in there. That is where we want the solder to actually go. So what we do is pin up the board underneath. I've already leveled everything. There's a bunch of little knobs to line everything up so the contact pads are where it goes only. There's some solder in the little wedge of the blades kind of behind there. So to get this actually coated, what we do is bring the blade back, make sure it comes back enough to actually cover the entire board, and then reverse, a little more. So what I always do is I take a nice visual inspection. There's a couple spots that could have been better, so I pull it back again. So sometimes this gets a little finicky just because you have to get the solder paste in the back to kind of roll around properly and it doesn't like to do it if it's a little cold. So the more we get to using this, the easier and faster it'll end up being. But what we've done, we got a nice contact pad otherwise. And what we do, because we have that push up on the plate, or sorry, with a plate onto the stencil with the PCB, what we need to do is now drop the stencil but what I've seen sometimes, the uh, processor pins, or the pads here, they're very thin and very fine. I have found on a couple occasions, they actually stick into the stencil. So what I do, little trick, I just take my finger, while I'm dropping it, just kind of rub it around in a little circle, so I know it actually falls through. And then you have the stencil, covered and solder where you want it to solder. So from this point, we actually, you know, like I said, we take a nice quick peek at it and make sure it's all covering all the pads where it needs to. Then we move on to our pick and place machine. So the pick and place machine here has a whole bunch of components in it, but with the ongoing chip shortage, there are a couple of components that are actually not in the machine and it's for a very good reason. Because a lot of the components are few and far between nowadays, or you have to get a little bit from here, a little bit from there, to actually put them in the machine, you need to put it in into the real system and so on and so forth, but it's kind of hard to do that when one of the packages I got was a package of three. So the board takes two of these every single time, and I can't really that's not enough room for me to even put it in the machine, right? So in parts like these, they're going to be put on by hand. And there's a couple other components that are just like this that have the same kind of, you know, issue like this. Um, under normal circumstances, this wouldn't be the case. But when you're piecemealed things in tiny little batches like this, you, you just can't put it in the machine. And I'm not going to stitch them all together kind of thing and then run so yeah no it's just easier for me to just place these they're big enough you can just do them with a pair of tweezers so that's what we're going to do so to get this started i've already placed the board with the solder paste in it right here got it held in with some magnet holders got our bluetooth chips got our processors a lot of those were piece mailed as well you know it is what it is nowadays you can't really do too much about it so what we'll do is get this started. It should take around three-ish minutes, give or take. So we'll start that now.
so that there placed a great deal of the components, but there were a couple it didn't, it tried to pick up but didn't place. One of them is one that I did have enough to feed into, and that's kind of over, over there. So I'll, I'll show you that in a second. And then one over there that, uh, it's just a really super tiny component. So it's one of those things where it might have just missed it. So we'll just take a peek at the screen here. So taking a peek at the screen here, you can select one of the components that didn't place. So as you can see, it's pretty dark and whatnot. That's okay, because I know where the component is. And what we can see here is it's trying to aim for the middle, and it's not, it's not lining up. So what I'm going to do here... I'm going to line it up in the middle, like so. I hit Add. This one here, as you can see, it's just really small and a little, and a little bit fickle. So what it's supposed to do is pick up here. So what I'm just going to do is advance it. Okay. Advance it a little bit less. There we go. So it just happens with a with a roll with a roll this big or long because this one will have ten ish thousand of these on it uh, and the reason i'm not too worried about missing that one there is they cost fractions of a penny so it's one of those things that it's not worth trying to get it kind of thing so like i said these are really small components it just wasn't it was just missing it so what we'll do is make sure that's nice and lined up have that one now the other ones on here that you see in orange, this one and this one here, these two, this, okay, so this one comes on a vibratory stick, uh, how it's programmed, but the components I got came on a reel. And I just didn't feel like reprogramming it. The chip is also pretty large. This is the one we just fixed. This is the one we other just fixed. This one here is the one that came in those little packages. So it went to go pick it up and there's nothing there. This one here, same kind of thing, a bunch of little packages. So I'm just gonna place it by hand. These two here, same kind of idea, a bunch of little packages and no point in putting them in the machine. So these have to be placed by hand as well. So what we're gonna do is run the board one more time. It'll ask us to place the missing components. We say yes. It's gonna miss all these other ones, but we wanted to pick up these two. So we'll start that now. So this here is a little bench I got here, and I'm gonna put on some stuff here by hand. A nice, easy, simple one. A USB piece. Pops on like so. The piece I got in these tweezers here is that one that went on the vibratory stick, but it came in a, it came in a spool, and it's pretty big, and there's nothing really in the way for it, so we're just gonna place it by hand. So that there has all the components that were to be placed on it in the machine, placed by hand. So what we do beforehand, we always do a nice quick visual inspection, make sure everything's lined up, or at least as lined up as we can get it. And pay close attention to the Bluetooth chip and the processor. A lot of the other stuff sometimes has the ability to float around, but a lot of the times the stuff finds the pads and just adheres. So what we'll do now is put this in our reflow oven. So our reflow oven here is a three zone. First it's 190, 190, then 255. Goes to a cooling zone and then out the ramp in the back. So how this works is it goes in on this side on a conveyor system and then out the other. So we'll put it in now. The conveyor does move pretty slow. It goes at about 358 millimeters a minute. And that's to ensure everything gets molten, everything gets soldered, reflowed, however you want to call it. And then cooled, uh, at least to the touch, to a point to be able to handle it, so you can actually put it away. And here it is. So 
we got our reflowed board here. We need to make sure everything looks okay visually for the time being. We notice there's no bridging, everything looks straight and even. There's no excess solder, at least none that I can immediately see. And then we will, you know, put that in the back and keep on going. And that there is a little bit about how the pick and place machine works. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. As always, like and subscribe, and until the next one, have a good one.